Yep, she's got the same ring on. That's f***ing her. Guys, to say I am nervous is an understatement. I have no idea how this is gonna wrap up in 50 minutes. I feel like there's so much, so much to touch on and I don't know, oh my God. I feel like there's gonna be like something, one like certain moment or a few certain moments where everything is just gonna like go into place and it's gonna, it's just gonna make sense. And I'm nervous, I, I hope that it ends well or not terrible at least, I don't know. I feel like Hill House ended decently for most of them. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I still feel like, the thing is, is like my guess is that Jamie is the narrator because one, she sounds exactly like her and has like the same accent and pronounces words so fucking similar. Two, I'm scared that it is her because like she's alone. Why is she alone? Danny should be with her. Okay, I'm nervous. I want to get right in this, guys. If you guys want to see the uncut reactions to The Haunting of Bly Manor, the link will be at the top of the description for my Patreon. Otherwise, they, of course, will still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get into this finale, guys. Here we go. Come on. I just want to know if Danny's alive. Dominic Come on. is dead. I'm dead. No. It breaks my heart that she's gonna start being someone that fades away. I don't want to step away. No. I want to stay here with you. But you can't. Bitch, watch her. She will defy gravity. I've forgotten that feeling, but... They should have ended up together. Mm, that breaks my heart. Moment. Come on. God knows I tried not to think of you. Danny and Jamie and them two need to end up together, but they're not going to. I always think that I would very much like to spend the rest of my days with you. Listening to your dreadful puns, holding your hand and... If only this was actually him. Oh. This is just you. you I bet she's going to save everybody. So I'll always be here. <clears throat> Go save the day. Can hell. Let go of her, you stank bitch. Come on, Hannah. Get inside. Let her go. Come on. What the f? Where is she taking her? Why is she going in reverse? What a brave little girl. She gonna listen? Oh, wow! She got that memory back. Holy shit! Thank God. Oh shit! I gave you your freedom, and you're letting it drown. I gave you your freedom. Shut the hell up. You didn't do shit. I'm not Henry. Put her down. I'm not Henry. Bitch, run faster! Is that the fastest you can run? God, they gotta do something to her. Did she just kill him? What the f***? No! Where is Jamie? Oh, there she is. We both had an awful dream and we just drove and... The lake. They, they need you at the lake. How are they supposed to stop her? Like, what gets rid of a crazy spirit? You let me handle this part. No, come on. It's me. It's me. It's us. That's fucking heartbreaking. Soon Flora would find herself dream hopping endlessly at Ply. And it would have all gone that way had not the au pair, in that critical moment, said what she said. It's you! It's me! Is she gonna take the place of the lady or of Flora? No, what the f When he checks the well, please tell Owen I'm sorry. Tell him I love him. And the rest, well, it's just. Oh, thank God. Damn. I'm so sorry, Miles. Sorry. 
Where are they all going? Oh. Is she like inside of Danny now? The au pair invited Viola into herself. No. And the invitation had been accepted. Now do a fucking exorcism. Get her out. And all of the spirits trapped in her gravity were released. Uncle Henry. Miles. Oh. Hannah too. God damn it. Oh, why does he have to see it? All that had once been trapped on the grounds was now gone to some other place. Your father taught me how to do this. I'm so sad. He had a trick for it. He's going to be with the kids now? I wonder if he's ever going to tell her. Damn, I can't believe they wrapped that shit up in like 10 minutes. About your father? Yes, I do. A lot of them. And your mother, too. He insisted on cleaning them himself, which he managed with a soft towel, soap, scented That's with lavender. That's sad. The greatest of care. Why is this so sad, Stop. And he loved her the whole way. Oh, I'm sad that she didn't get to say goodbye. You're about done up here. <laughs> or tell her herself that she loves him. So what's gonna happen if she's in there as well? She's in here. She can probably feel her pain and feel everything. And I can't really see anything except the path in front of me. But I know there's this thing. I know it's there. <coughs> you just gotta learn how to put her away. <laughs> Couldn't they have like, She's waiting. I don't know, put her in a bad guy and then killed point. them like Peter? Oh, I guess he's dead already. She's gonna take me. What? Why? No. Do you want company? No. Are you wait for your beast in the jungle? No. No. Depends on where you're going. Uh, America, I think. You think oh. that's where we're uh, where we're gonna go? Yes. First for a little while, at least. Shit, stand. In America, what's, what's that bitch gonna do? Take one plane? Maybe it's just gonna take over her brain until she goes back. Are you sure you wanna give me this one? You must have it. It's you. Aww. She's not afraid to say that. I suppose I... I don't know how I will ever thank you. She gave her life for your daughter, dude. I'm glad he came to his senses to take care of his family. Well, I'm just so goddamn lucky, aren't I? And so are you. She ain't fucking lucky. Oh. You right, Buffins? Okay, but I love that they're going away together. <laughs> they are getting the hell out of there. So it could be nice. Aww. Bill laugh. Uh, part of me's wanted to go ever since so like Christmas when I was a kid. I don't think you should plan, you know, Christmas. It's a ways away. One day at a time. Yeah, no, I know. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just just being realistic. You can't go your whole life though saying, well, maybe I won't make it till then. One day at a time is what we've got. Oh. It's what everybody's got when you get down to it. And before the au pair knew it, a year had passed. Oh, the God, thank God. And she was still here. Aw, what is that? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those flowers. We've got a problem, Poppins. I'm not sick of you. Aw. At all. I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. Oh. She's gonna fucking propose, I feel it. Mm. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh. At least they got a little life together. Hopefully Five nothing even happens. Five years? God. Deep within the old pair's heart, there was peace. Oh, they're so cute, stop. No. No. Well, there's your problem. Your roots. Can... Oh. You're my best friend. Oh. And I love my life. And I don't know how much time we have left. But however much it is, I'm gonna spend it with you. 
Fuck my life, this is so sad. We can wear the rings in one now. Okay? Aww. And that's enough for me. Yeah, I can that's enough for me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are they like one of my favorite TV couples ever now? Put the ring on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wanted to tell her though. I'm so happy to be here. Oh. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, and this place is so beautiful. He's got his own restaurant. It's fucking awesome. This episode's like so sweet, but I know at the end she's gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it does get the occasional eye roll. <laughs> wait, wait, what's her name? Forget I can't see it. How badly annoyed her until she finally had to laugh, and nothing was better than that woman's laugh. I can't read that. What does it say? I haven't spoken to the kids in ages, though. No. But hey, they are growing up and getting out into the world. Oh yeah, the kids are gonna be so old now. You're all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Tell her. To go when I can. She's your fucking yeah. wife. Actually, uh. They all came here a few months back. So they're all happy? Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. She though. made that sacrifice the for them. They talk about Bly. They don't remember anything about it. What? Nothing. It's been this way a while, turns out. So. Maybe it's a good thing that they don't they remember don't all that. Remember Hannah, they don't remember. So they've just forgotten it all. They don't remember what she did for her. Do you think Henry will? Tell them. Would you? I mean, no. signs of they're thriving. I'd say, just let them be. But I would hope that let when her time do does come, the way they that they tell them what she did for them. Jesus. Okay. What's going on? Okay. We're gonna hide all the mirrors and pretend okay. that that didn't ever happen. We're gonna be okay. And you're gonna shut that bitch out forever. Okay. It's gonna be okay. I'll do the washing up for now on. Yeah? You shy anyway. <laughs> well, if you were shy, I've got it. Our union is officially. Oh god, is she gone? Sybil. I'll marry her again when we can. What the f? They made it official and now she's gonna be gone? What the f? Danny, Danny, I only see you. No. I'm sorry, all the water I did to be honest. Okay. It's okay. Aww. It's like every day I feel myself fading away, but I'm still here. I'm, I don't understand You're still how that is. Here. You're here. God, I could not imagine being in Jamie's situation. Maybe I should just accept that. No. Maybe I should just accept that no. and go. No. No. Not yet. <sighs> then I'll feel everything for the both of us. But no one. She's so desperate to get her to stay. Okay. What the f No. What the f are you doing? I feel like she's gonna leave and go do it because she doesn't want to hurt her. F oh my god, when they play this instrumental. No! I knew the moment had come. No! And she could not risk the most important thing. Her most important person. <clears throat> not for one more day. Yeah, but she did it because she didn't want to hurt her. She's gonna go. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that though. <clears throat> so maybe the narrator is Flora. Oh my god. It's fing heartbreaking. Oh my god. The gardener said the words she'd heard those years ago. She willed it with everything she had. You, Aww. me, us. The lady in the lake was also Danny. And Danny wouldn't. Danny would never. And no one has been taken to this day. The thing is, like, the curse is broken too, so even if she dies, I don't think her spirit's gonna be there. No! I bet the narrator the is her. Days, 
the garden and would gaze into reflections, hoping to see her face. Oh my god. Waiting for her lover to return. Oh my god. She would know nothing of the gardener, nothing of their life together. Yep, she's got the same ring on. That's f***ing her. I expect if he were to fly to England, he would find no such place by that name. What? If you were to find the manor, though, perhaps you'd see her. But I think you set it up wrong just in the beginning. Is that so? Yeah. You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. <sighs> Something on your mind? Do they know anything about her? Because couldn't they be like, well, you really. were a gardener, you know? We got lucky. Sometimes when I'm sitting next to him in that easy silence. Bitch, why are you boasting to her? She's still heartbroken. How am I supposed to just live a life that he's not in? That's how she feels. Oh, sorry. Don't let that hang over your happiness right now. You just spend the life that you have together. Enjoy that easy silence with him. <clears throat> it is rare what you've got. Eventually, after some time, you'll find little moments, little pieces of your life that remind you of him also that makes me happy that like this entire episode was essentially about them you have a big day tomorrow a happy day <laughs> with your silly gorgeous insane man you should it would have been kind of cute though if like this was like flora's wedding or right? Cause like, why are they all acting like they don't know her, but she's there? It's a funny coincidence, I suppose. Oh, she knows. My middle name is Flora. Is that right? Hmm. Huh. Like, I want to know who these people are, and why her middle name's Flora. It's Flora's daughter, right? Oh. Oh, it is Flora. Oh. Why? Oh. She still does it. Damn. Even after all this time, she still opens the door for her. Why is this heartbreaking? I wish there was a way that, like, I don't know, that they could have gotten her out. That's, like, so f***ing sad that after all that time, she still waits for her, just in case. And she's loved her for her whole life. Okay, wait. Pause. I was just... This is, this is after I did my whole outro, but I was just told that in the end, that was... Danny's hand on her shoulder. I don't know why that didn't register with me that that someone was holding her shoulder But that was Danny and who knows what that means. I feel like that's open-ended, but it's kind of just like Her spirit is still with her and I hope that maybe After it cuts maybe she wakes up and feels her there with her But I just want Jamie to like know that she was there for her and that's so f***ing sweet that it ended like that because it ended with like She's still opening the door. She's still filling the bathtub. She just wants her back. And then she is there with her. She's holding her shoulder. She still has the ring on. <laughs> and it's obviously like an older hand. And oh my God. I hope, I mean, I, I'm in my head, I'm saying, okay, after this, she woke up and got to see her again. That's, that's what is in my head. That's, that's how it is. But I can't believe I missed that. I cannot believe I missed that. I think I was too busy just being upset and crying for, to notice it, but... I just wanted to add that in here because I just saw it when Niles, my friend, had told me that that's what happened. He said like, oh, and her hand on her shoulder at the end. And I was like, what? Wait, what? And went back and watched it and it was so cute. And oh my God, I, I love that that's kind of open-ended even though it's like not, you know? I don't know. That might not make sense, but <sighs> I loved it so much. So, so much. Oh my God. Okay, back to the outro. 
all right there we go that was the haunting of bly manor finale okay if you didn't fucking ball this whole episode who are you i cannot what the fuck? so danny sacrifices herself essentially to save flora the lady in the lake is taking flora into the lake and as a last ditch effort danny says that it's you it's me it's us and allows viola into her and she can feel her but she's tucked down deep away and when she lets her in it releases all of the spirits from the curse and they're all able to to finally rest and be released and um (sighs) hannah being gone was heartbreaking and the fact that like the last thing she said was like tell him that i love him you know and he never forgot her just like Jamie never forgot Danny. It makes me really happy that Jamie and Danny had so many years together and were able to have their union. They, I mean, I don't think gay marriage was legal yet, but they were able to have that union and that love and they consider themselves married. And they had so many years together before it started to take her. And she finally decided to give into it and go when she came to and realized that she was about to hurt Jamie. And like they said, she could never hurt the person that she loves more than anything else in the world. And so she gave herself to the lake and is now the lady of the lake, which is honestly so heartbreaking. But like part of me is also like, it's just a beautiful ending because you knew that she would do anything for those kids and for them to live she made that sacrifice. That's why it was kind of upsetting that like the kids didn't remember because they don't know what she did for them. Maybe, maybe Jamie telling Flora the, the story and, and saying all these things, maybe that will spark something in her. Cause she was like, you know, it's interesting that my middle name is Flora. So did they change the kids' names and kind of start over? Cause she also had an American accent, but when it showed them, she was it was it was her you know seeing them all older was just heartbreaking and i didn't really notice that that was owen until he walked by and put his arm on hand on her and like that's his reaction was that way because he was there you know he knows that this is true it's not just a ghost story and it was sweet that like flora had said it's not a ghost story it's a love story and the whole episode was really just dedicated to showing how deep their love went and she tried to give herself up to the lake to die there too, but I don't think that curse is a thing anymore, so I don't think that would have even worked. And of course, Danny would never want that for her. Her love runs so deep that she spends years and years, and she's probably what, like at least 50 now? And she's still, no, probably like 60 or something. She still leaves the door open. She still fills the bath with water to see if she could see her. And she's desperate for her, even though she knows that by now her memory is faded, her face is faded, but she still waits for her, still wears the ring, and still knows that she's the love of her life. And it's really sweet to me how, like, even when she knew that this would happen in the future, she was like, do you want some company for the rest of your days? You know, and and she opened herself up to that. It's almost like deciding to be with someone when you know that they're, they have terminal a terminal illness and they're going to die at some point, you know? Their, run, their love just runs so deep that that's, they would do it, you know? And it's just heartbreaking. I had a feeling that it was Jamie, but I was trying to like not think that way because if it was Jamie, I would wonder where Danny is. And so I started getting a bad feeling about that. And then it just really sounded like Jamie, everything she said, her pronunciation, everything. I don't know. It's, it's such a bittersweet ending. It was absolutely heartbreaking but also so simple and so beautiful. I don't know what I would like rank it, but this is definitely my top three favorite season of a show ever. It was beautiful, it was confusing, and it all wrapped up so easily, so nicely, and so fast. And it was just, it was amazing. And I loved every second of the season. I thought it was f***ing amazing. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And I'm gonna miss these people so much. I wish there was a way that they could do like a part two where she does come back or she does walk in, but it did end beautifully. And I am so impressed by this season. Obviously Hill House was incredible. I didn't think that they'd be able to outdo that because I absolutely loved Hill House, but 
they did. They really f***ing did. This was amazing in every single form of it. The kid actors were incredible. Victoria, of course, is incredible. Jamie, incredible. All of them did so well and created such a compelling story that just absolutely tears at your heart. And I'm happy that even though it wasn't a happily ever after, she spent the last of her days with Jamie. You know, that was the end of her life. And she got to be with Jamie until she died. And it's beautiful. It's heartbreaking, but it's beautiful. And I'm happy that we got this whole last episode of just kind of their love story. And I, I loved it. I don't know. I don't know what else to say besides I f***ing loved it. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Thanks for sticking with me and watching The Haunting of Bly Manor with me. I loved every second of it. But I think that is pretty much it. I will see you guys some other time. Thanks for watching.